With the release of the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC in GT Online came three new missions that you can play one after another and are launched from inside an upgraded Avenger. These are the LSA operations, where each one completed pays out around $70,000 if you get the added objective bonus payout of $15,000, but these total amounts will fluctuate. So in this video, I'll explain how to speedrun each of them so low to get them done the fastest and the most efficient ways. I'll go through the standard ways and the speedrun ways so you can adapt them to your playstyle. So without further ado, let's get to it. Before we get going, it's always a good idea to call Lester and request a job. I take it this isn't a social call. Okay, let me see what I got for you. I'll text you the details. And to also set up job warping. I've made a separate guide on how to job warp, so if you don't know how to do it, the link for that will be in the description. Probably the hardest one to complete is direct action, which sees you parachuting down onto an aircraft carrier to steal a Torridor as its main objective. You first want to call in your Avenger and land it inside this hangar at LSIA. There will always be a Titan in there, so you can either nudge it with your Avenger or move it with your up and atomizer. You want to position it so when you leave the bank, you spawn right outside here. Sometimes, if it's too far in, you will spawn outside the hangar. So adjust this as necessary. You don't need to worry too much about accuracy if you're doing this casually. Now when you start the mission, leave the Avenger and spam right on the D-pad to contact Rooster. Then as soon as you hear the dialogue, call up Lester to cut out the rest of the talking. All right, check this out. Turns out Meriwether's been working with the IRS. The mission timer doesn't start until you can move your character after the little cutscene, but this will save you time overall. Here is a comparison to show the difference. All right, so you probably this heard Turns the Meriwether's been working with the IRS. IRS agent, seizing any imports that didn't pay their fucked up little tax. In this case, that means a whole batch of luxury, high-tech, submersible cars just got pulled off a cargo ship. They're being held offshore until the paperwork comes through. And when I say offshore, I mean a big-ass aircraft carrier. These motherfuckers always gotta make a statement, right? We're after one car in particular, a Toreador. Got a buyer all lined up. Now head over to Rooster's hangar. He's dying to fly you in for this one. You already over there? I'm just about all gassed up. Chopper 2! <laughs> I'll come scoop you! As soon as you can, jump out the chopper and open your parachute, then land on top of the aircraft carrier. Okay, so the intel says they're keeping the Toreador in Hangar Bay A on the lower deck. I'll get you a picture of the containers. Take out the first guard for the carrier and head inside the control room to look for the key card. Density body armor. If you take him out, that sends a hell of a message. You know what I mean, TL? If it's not here, then check the other control room across the stairs. By now, you'll have received a second objective, which could be one of three. One of them is to steal the Raiju jet. One is to take out the Juggernaut and the third is to put tracking devices on three crates. When you're parachuting down at the start, you should look at the jets to see if the Raiju is there. If it is, that will be your secondary objective. If it's not, then it would be one of the others. If it is the Raiju, then when you first land on the aircraft carrier, equip your sniper with explosive rounds and take out the four air defenses situated here on the deck of the carrier. Now pop down to grab the key cards from the control rooms. Thank you. 
make sure you have enough health and drop down here to the next platform. Shooting anyone on your way to grab the jet. Be sure to eat snacks while you hop in, as you'll be getting shot at. Now deliver it to the hangar at LSIA. When you've done this, a helicopter will spawn next to you. You can take this, but it's not that fast and visibility on the way is horrid. So go into first person and just keep an eye on your altitude. Alternatively, if you planned ahead, you could have prepped a Hydra and traveled back to the aircraft carrier with it. Even better, have a job bookmark which will take you straight to the aircraft carrier when you job walk. <laughs> you really blew that shit right off the carrier. Link for the one I used here on the PS5 will be in the description, but I will be looking for better ones. From here, get down to the next platform and blow up the generator to detract the barriers. There will now be three crates here which may have the toy door inside it. Check them until you get it. I like how you think ahead, TL. Grabbing those key cards is smart as hell. Okay, I see the Toria door on my radar. That means it must be up and out. Try and keep the Toria door as high in the water as possible for maximum speed. If you're feeling brave, you can boost up this incline and then deliver it. At the time of making this video, I've managed to ride you jet bonus run in only 7 minutes and 25, but the return back was a bit dodgy. This one will definitely take the longest to complete. If your second objective is to kill the Juggernaut, it will spawn in one of three places. One place is on the main platform facing south, so hiding here and aiming will show you whether he's here. If not, blow yourself up. This will spawn you downstairs, where he will be in either the first section on the right, or he'll be in the second section down the middle. Blow up the door control box and prepare to shoot the gunner on the barrage. Once the juggernaut is dead, head left and shoot the other door control unit. You can now steal the Toridor. Good shit. And the third secondary objective is to place trackers on crates. These will either be in the first lower section or the second lower section. Simply run around near them and they should show on your map. However, this is buggy and sometimes you'll not be able to complete it. Place the trackers. Dickhead! And leave in the Toridor. Of course, you do have the option to leave all the secondary objectives. 
If so, hop down from the control tower and then head north and hop down the next barrier, making sure you have enough health to survive the falls. Blow up the generator and get out. I've done it this way in only 4 minutes and 3 seconds. The second mission is Surgical Strike. The basic premise is to find a smuggler and then get in details from their phone. It's much quicker to blow them up and steal it rather than doing the hacking. Thing. First, you tell this smuggler and figure out where this is all going down. You will get a wanted level before it shows you the next location. So you can either call Lester to remove the wanted level. What's up, pal? No problem. I'll get him off your back. Or before you do it, become a CEO and bribe the authorities so you don't get the wanted level at all. Cut. This is slippery slope, you know what I'm saying? We gotta take a stand and sabotage the whole thing. Or just remember the second location as each smuggler location links to the next. So for the marina, you want to head over to El Burro. From the observatory, you want to head over to the Humane Labs. And for the cemetery, you want to head over to Madrazo's place. Using job warping is advised, which will cut down your traveling time immensely. Got it. Ha <laughs> ha, we found them. Just tag the base on your GPS. Once you get in there, start planting tracers on their shipments. Look for big boxes and Meriwether logos. The best one is at El Burro. There is a way to always get this location, and that's by blocking spawn points for the others. To block the location at Madrazo's, you can park one of your vehicles here. And to block the Humane Labs, you can park one just here. I tend to use the Sparrow and the Thruster. Other vehicles like those you call in from Dax or Franklin will despawn and not prevent the missions. The main objective is to locate three crates and identify them with flares. There are also three types of secondary objectives to get the 15k bonus. Either stealing an artifact, photographing some blueprints, or disguising as Meriwether. At the Humane Labs location, the artifact will be either here or here, and the blueprints will be here or here, with the Meriwether disguises over at the quarry. The flares can be found here. If it's at Madrazo's, the artifact will either be here or here, and the blueprints here or here. The Meriwether disguises are by the Vinewood sign. And the flares will be located here. At El Burro, the artifact will either be here or here, and the blueprints here or here, and the flares located just here, with the Meriwether disguise over here. If you do have the Meriwether disguise bonus objective, you have to go in stealth initially. This is the worst one to get as it takes so much longer. Ideally, you want to be able to blow everyone up with your oppressor and swoop down. Get onto the main base without the noise. Damn, what's going on down there? Did they catch the guy on the insurgent gun is best to take out on foot, as the insurgent will use up a ton of your missiles and just be slower. It's up a beat. See if there's any flares, and I'll let them know to keep an eye out. With your flares, throw one at each crate located on your map. And then leave the area. The next part depends on what location you are at as to where you want to be to trigger the airstrike. If at Humane Labs, wait down here in the car park. When the airstrike has been completed, a menacer will spawn, shoot the gunner and steal the vehicle. Get a job! You picked what a pansy! Ah, you got 
got the truck, huh? Crazy motherfucker, I love it. Get that shit back to the angels, but don't be afraid to test that weapon system out for us. If you're at Madrezzo, then wait here. And if you're at El Burro, you can wait here. Now just drive the Menacer back to your drop-off location and the job is complete. Crazy motherfucker, I love it! Get that shit back to the Angels, but don't be afraid to test that weapon system out for us. Like the last mission, there are three possible locations you will need to head to. One is over at El Burro to pick up your night vision equipment. And then over to the noose headquarters. Another location is in Grapeseed. And then over by the fields at San Kiansky. But the best location is at the U2 supermarket and then across the road. After this first part, you'll have to pick up and drop off the EMP at this location each time. You can block the worst locations from spawning by blocking the first van with vehicles. At El Burro, it's just here. And at Grapeseed, it's here, next to these barrels. Planning ahead, you can also drop off your own cargo bob just here, which you can then get into after collecting your night vision. As mentioned at the beginning, calling Lester to request a job means you can accept it and back out, which will spawn your vehicles right next to you, avoiding all cooldowns. Ideal if you're planning to do lots of setting up before starting. You now want to park your Avenger right here where the road meets the dirt. Being too close will prevent the mission from activating. Now get your oppressor parked out the back. Have a good one. Calling up Lester a few times at the beginning will cut out the dialogue so you can complete the next action faster. All right, we got a whole bunch of stops to make before we hit the IIA facility for this journalist. Okay. First thing we need is some infiltration equipment, like night vision, for example. All right, next, let's set you up with an EMP for the breach. That EMP's moving fast. You going by air? See, that's why you the TM, cause you're always thinking. There's a substation powering the underground facility not too far out. See if you can lower the EMP in there, and then get ready to infiltrate this shit. Once you've delivered the EMP, head over here and you may want to call in your oppressor. When inside, wait at these doors and spam right on the D-pad to detonate the EMP. Triggering the EMP in three, two, one. Like the others, there are three possible objectives. One of them means hacking into a laptop. These can be found in the hallway here or down by the entrance along here. Another one means collecting some files, which can be found in this room on the first floor you arrive at or down in the meeting room. But the best one is blowing up the generator. 
This can either be here on the floor below or on the next floor down. The main objective is to grab some hard drives which are found in the main room on the next floor down from the entrance. Blast the three guards and hopefully skip some dialogue by calling Lester. Do something extra too. Okay, all good so far. Just grab the hard drives and get out of there. If you have already completed your second objective, you can kill yourself and spawn right outside by your oppressor. Each starting location will mean a different drop off location. Again, calling Lester to skip the dialogue will reveal these faster. Okay, you got everything? That's it, Angels. We did that shit. But the best location from the setup we done earlier is at the outside stage, where there is a handy job warping location. So ideally, as soon as you grab the hard drives, have a look on your map and start your job warping. The position of your character needs to be very precise. So aiming with the handgun will get you in the right place. Cool, thanks. Now fly off and mission complete. So that is how you speedrun all of the LSA operations missions. If you found this video useful, please drop it a like and subscribe for more GTA content. I'm Beats Thou, and I'll see you in the next one.